Hey tech enthusiasts, Boo HD here. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another episode of Last Week in Tech, the show where we talk about all of the top tech news stories from last week, this week. We already did six episodes of Last Week in Tech, which is pretty insane, really, if you think about it. I can hardly believe it. As you know by now, you can send in your tech news story suggestions using the LWIT hashtag on Twitter. So go ahead and go do that, and your story might be featured in next week's episode. But, uh, Let's just jump right into it. Now, the biggest news last week was actually the announcement of Alphabet by Larry Page and Sergey Brin from Google. I'm gonna try and break this down for you and make this as simple as possible because this is all pretty confusing, but it's huge news because Google is now part of a conglomerate called Alphabet that will own a smaller number of subsidiaries. This includes, but isn't limited to Google, Google X, Fiber, Calico, Nest, Google Ventures, and Google Capital. And there's really two ways to look at this whole thing. From a practical standpoint, Alphabet can now include companies that don't necessarily abide by Google's brand or fit into Google's brand, which is traditionally defined as a technology company. Alphabet may include projects that aren't related to Google if they want to go into the military or start selling cars or go into bioengineering, they can do just that and it won't affect Google at all since Google focuses on digital products now. Since Google has grown to become a massive company by itself, it faces a lot more scrutiny as a single company from the SEC. As a conglomerate with multiple companies, it's much easier for Google to find loopholes in the law since business operations can be kept separate through different companies. With that all said, the new CEO of Google is Sundar Pichai since Larry Page and Sergey are moving on. But this is all very big news. Some people are claiming it to be the biggest news in technology in the past five years. I'm curious to know your thoughts on the restructuring. Do you understand it all? I know it's all developing and it's, it's very confusing, um, but does it change your view of Google now that Google is part of a conglomerate? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm always curious to know what you're thinking. But in other news, astronauts ate lettuce grown in the space station veggie plant growth system for the very first time this past week. I love this story because it makes me think of The Martian where Mark Watney grew potatoes on Mars. Now this isn't Mars we're talking about, but it's still pretty cool to think that we're growing vegetables up in space. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty neat. It's also pretty neat to think about how they are actually grown. So they're grown aeroponically, meaning in an air or mist environment without soil. They require less water and fertilizer. They don't need pesticide. They are much less prone to disease and they can grow up to three times faster than plants grown in soil. That's pretty neat. I'd hate to see Monsanto growing crops up there in space. Hopefully that will never happen. HTC made it in the news because they just can't seem to catch a break. Not only were they found storing fingerprints and an open world readable folder in the HTC One Max, but their shares fell a whopping 10% in Taiwan, which reached a daily trading limit. HTC forecasted a quarterly loss five times analysts' estimates, so they're gonna have to be cutting some of their staff to save money, which is pretty sad. I really hope HTC can pump out a successful phone, whether it's a high-end phone or a low-end phone or mediocre phone. I don't even care. I just really wish them the best of luck. Uh, I'm still very much a fan of HTC, even after the HTC One M9. But that's where I want to end this week's episode. Thanks for sending in your suggestions to Last Week in Tech using the Last Week in Tech hashtag. The biggest story is, of course, Google's restructuring, which is huge. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the show Mr. Robot. I don't know if you guys watched that show. The only real difference is that Google isn't exactly evil, at least not in my mind, um, and that the majority of the population approves of Google services, I would say. But with Alphabet being a conglomerate, that's just kind of what it reminds me of. I don't know. You guys should go watch that show if you haven't already. This is not a sponsor. It's just a pretty good show. With that said, thanks for watching Last Week in Tech. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new, and you can always check out the playlist where you can check out last week's episode or pretty much every episode of Last Week in Tech uh, using the playlist probably to the right of the video player. So if you can check that out. As always, guys, I'm BoHG. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.